Good day everyone, I'm Carla Jean G. Aqua. Publication in the official gazette or a newspaper of general circulation is a condition sine qua non before statutes, rules, or regulations can take effect. This was emphasized in the case of Republic of the Philippines versus Express Telecommunication Incorporated and Bayan Telecommunications Incorporated with GR number 147096, January 15, 2002. On December 29, 1992, International Communications Corporation, now Biontel, filed an application with the National Telecommunications Commission, or NTC, for a certificate of public convenience or necessity to install, operate, and maintain a digital cellular mobile telephone system or service with prayer for a provisional authority. Shortly thereafter, the NTC issued directing all interested applicants for nationwide or regional CMTS to file their respective applications before the Commission and prior to the issuance of any notice of hearing by the NTC. With respect to Biontel's original application, Biontel filed an urgent ex parte motion to admit an amended application. The notice of hearing issued by the NTC with respect to this amended application was published in the Manila Chronicle. But before Biontel could complete the presentation of its evidence, the NTC grant of two separate provisional which resulted in the closing out of all available frequencies applied by applicants. In granting Biontel the provisional authority to operate a CMTS, the NTC applied Rule 15, Section 3 of its 1978 Rules of Practice and Procedure. Respondent Extelcom, however, contends that the NTC should have applied the revised rules which were filed with the Office of the National Administrative Register on February 3, 1993. These revised rules deleted the phrase on its own initiative. Accordingly, a provisional authority may be issued only upon filing of the proper motion before the Commission. In answer to this argument, the NTC, through the Secretary of the Commission, issued a certification to the effect that inasmuch as the 1993 rules have not been published, in a newspaper of general circulation, the NTC has been applying the 1978 rules. The issue of this case is whether or not the 1993 revised rules, which was filed in the UP Law Center, is the law in force and effect in granting provisional authority. The ruling of the court was that, no, the absence of publication coupled with a certification by the Commissioner of the NTC stating that the NTC was still governed by the 1978 rules clearly indicate that the 1993 revised rules have not taken effect at the time of the grant of the provisional authority to buy and sell. The fact that the 1993 revised rules were filed with the UP Law Center on February 3, 1993 is of no moment. There is nothing in the Administrative Code of 1987 which implies that the filing of the rules with the UP Law Center is the operative act that gives the rules of force and effect. The Administrative Order under consideration is one of those issuances which should be published for its effectivity since its purpose is to enforce and implement an existing law pursuant to a valid delegation. In relation to LOI 444 and EO 133. Thus, publication in the official gazette or a newspaper of general circulation is a condition sine qua non before statutes, rules, or regulations can take effect.